Uh, we're going to use different models in the project, which are the, either being developed uh, before the project started or which are being developed in the project. Um, models are useful in that uh, they can help you identify things that you don't understand within a, a, a process or an ecosystem process. They can help you carry out uh, virtual experiments because if you wanted to carry out an experiment um, on a plantation forest you might have to wait 50 years for the forest to grow. You don't have 50 years, you can't wait that long. So if you, you can use models to carry out simulations um, of growth over time. And also you can use models to uh, carry out simulations of what happens if you have a forest and you cut the trees or if you thin the trees or what happens uh, if uh, a forest manager does something to that forest site. So we can use models in these different ways. Within the project, we're going to be using different types of models. Um, we have uh, models to calculate um, the carbon, it's the carbon accounting model, so how much carbon um, is stocked within um, uh, a tree, a forest system, how much is stocked in the aerial part of the root system, how much is, going, is stocked in the roots, how much is stocked in the soil. We have, um, we're going to use other models um, to calculate the stability of a slope with regard to shallow landslides and erosion. Um, so these models need uh, physical data and they'll be able to pro provide us just with uh, uh, an, a, f um, a factor of security, that's called. So they give us an idea of the risk that uh, a slope will fail, um, depending on the vegetation on that site. And we'll also have a model for um, hydraulic distribution within uh, a forest. So how much water has been pumped up through the root system and redistributed laterally to the, to, through the soil profile. With the different models that are being developed in the project, we'd like to be able to use them uh, to carry out simulations of different uh, management types over time in our different forest situations. Um, through carrying out these different simulations, we should be able to work out what services are provided um, by the trees, by the root systems in different situations. And it's then up to the end user uh, to go to his field site and say, okay, I've got a problem with erosion. I've got a problem with soil erosion. Um, I want information about how to manage my vegetation over time. Um, that might be in 10 years time, in 20 years time, to avoid erosion, which I can see is starting to happen on my site. So through, he's not going to use our, the models that we use because they're um, research models, but we'll have uh, carried out simulations which will then give him the information that he requires for uh, managing as best he can his site, depending on the problem at his site.